All right, first and foremost, we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We want to give double honors to the apostles, a great millstone who rule well. And we also want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the elect. I'm Zahab, and to my left is Tassel All right, and today we're going to go into a topic of basically Esau speaking blasphemy against the Most High, literally. Come. Mm. All right, so yeah, the scripture right. open up. Need that second piece. Okay. And basically, you know, I listen to the one, listen to brothers in, in uh, uh, camp in, in L.A. and Esau saying, "Yeah, how about you? I got paid for destroying Solomon the more." You know? I'm gonna get Second Peter two I, and six right. Quick. I go, go, go ahead. All right, this is Second Peter two and six, and turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. Mm. Making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Mm. And that's a law destroyed the two cities. I think like some more cities, right? Yeah, yeah. And he showing them don't act, don't don't be like them two cities. All the all the homosexual shit going on. I think that's the beast going on too. Yeah. All this stuff going on. Law saying don't do that. Don't be like them. So. Well, you know, and, and that was the point. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was published, all right, to be an example of what not to do, Come all on. right? But here it is in America, which I'm going to get another scripture right quick. Mm -hmm. um, Revelation uh, 11 and 8, real quick, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. But it says spiritually Sodom and Egypt because... Obviously, the spirit of Sodom has been reincarnated in America. Come, mm -hmm. and, and that's what, and that's the thing, biggest thing. Soon, uh, Obama signed that, that that damn homosexuality. It went went from it was like here, now it's, it's way up here now. It affects every damn world. And for for y'all to say the Lord got apologized for for, for destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, y'all y'all lost your damn mind, man. How can how can the creator, no the creature? Tell the creator what to do. You know what I'm saying? And Dad, you owe us an apology. Yeah. You know, basically. And it's even worse. That's magnified times a trillion. Mm-hmm. But it, it's it, them damn them devils, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all the problem, man. Y'all do all, y'all make all the rules. Y'all do do what you feel, man. Instead with how, how the Lord feel. Y'all taking everything upon y'all hands, man. All right. This is Revelation chapter thirteen, verse six. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. All right, but the point is, Esau opened up his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High. And one way that he did it was to, to have the Supreme Court demand that God apologize for what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Who, who, what nation of people does that, man? All other nations are vain and they're all heathens and all wicked. But they all know not to cross those barriers, man. Not Come. to cross that boundary, man. Come. And we in the belly of the man is telling the Most High to apologize for what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Hey, man. What, what you you have nothing else for you but slavery and death, man. Y'all some proud fucking devils, man. Y'all y'all motherfucker, y'all just proud, man. I mean, I'm just like the brother. The brother mad on the video, like man, that pissed them off. You I mean if you're not pissed off about that, how you gonna tell the most out of the or for destroying the motherfucking faggots? I mean the fact that you have a gay pride parade. Gay and pride. That's two that's two damn transgressions, man. You're homosexual and you have pride. And that, and that's that's satanic, that's demonic, man. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's opening your mouth again uh, and blasphemy against the most high, man. A fucking gay pride parade, man. You know, I pray to you, how about Shimmy House Shot? You kill not only all you fucking Edomites, but all you damn lesbians and you fucking faggots, man. And, and you pedophiles and you people that Chinese. have you Chinese and LGBT and DT, yeah. all that crazy shit. I pray to you, how about Shimmy House Shot? The death and destruction be upon you, man. And, and, and the niggas that get along with this shit, oh, no, no, no. I'm cool with them. No, motherfucker, you, you gonna get it too, you, same time. You're not a man, man. You're gonna die with the sword too, man. You're going to die, man. You're going to die from the sword. All right, you going to get the article? Yeah, you get the article and then you're going to be it. Okay. This is um, the Eye of the Tiber. 
Supreme Court demands apology from God for Sodom and Gomorrah. It says, just hours after ruling that all Americans, no matter their sexual orientation, can now legally marry the people they love, the U.S. Supreme Court went forward with plans to demand that God apologize and make amends for his actions in Sodom and Gomorrah. Many are calling the decision to hold God liable for the destruction of the impenitent cities as a victory for gay rights activists who have fought for centuries to see God brought to justice. The justices found that under the 14th Amendment, states must issue marriage license to same-sex couples and recognize same-sex unions that have been performed in other cities, and that the divine judgment of God that was passed upon Sodom and Gomorrah was unjust. Justice Anthony Kennedy delivered the majority opinion and was joined by Justice Ginsburg, Kagan, Breyer, and Sotomayor in calling God to step down from his post immediately. Man, man. <laughs> you know? He's all, man, you motherfuckers ain't shit, man. You ain't shit. And in, in, in Leviticus, the law said, a man lie with mankind and like it lie with a woman. Both of them committed a abomination. You got the rules. You got the rules, but you want to do what you want to do. So when your how about you come back to scroll your ass? That's on you. Got a real quick one, though, y'all. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. But the, the, the key point is, I am Yahweh, I change not, man. Because if they're not saying this, well, they other people are saying, well, you know, that was the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we it's different now. It's all about your heart. What well, the Lord said, I change not. So what?